Good morning. I want to give you a verse today. This is what the Bible says. The Bible says that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above. I mean, that's exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Now, on Thursday of this week, Pat and I was sitting out here on the porch having breakfast, and I said something to her about the coffee. She said, well, we got enough to make one more little batch of coffee. We're going to have to go get some. Well, and I just kind of said to myself, she left that morning to go do some things. I just sitting out here drinking my coffee, and I said, Lord, I sure would like to have some coffee. I didn't want to drive to town. I didn't want to go through all of Walmart because you buy all that other stuff that you wish you hadn't bought or you didn't need. And so I just said, Lord, I want some coffee. Well, God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. That was around 8 o'clock, maybe 8.30 that morning. Well, I went up to get the mail around 10 o'clock. Now watch this. And there was a package in my mail. Now look at this. God sent me some coffee exceeding ab abundantly above all I can ask or think. That's probably six, seven, eight pounds of coffee. And not only is it just coffee, it's the best. I have a friend of mine that I've worked with down in Honduras, and he was down there doing some work, and he went up into the mountains. They hand-picked that coffee. They grew that coffee. They ground that coffee. They got it ready. They bagged it. They gave it to him, and he sent it to me. Now, that had to start in motion uh, at least a month, maybe two months before I prayed, but I didn't get it until I prayed. Now, I want you to get this, and it is exceeding abundantly above. That's the best to me. That's mountain-grown, genuine Honduran coffee. I'm going to fix it here just when I finish this program. So I prayed on Thursday. It came on Friday. Today's Sunday. I didn't have a chance to fix it yesterday, but today's Sunday, and I'm fixing to uh, partake of that which I believed for. Now, I've been talking to you about faith is a way of life. Faith is the way that we live. The just shall live by his faith. We can't just a hoping and a praying that something's going to take place. We've got to go to the Word, plant the seed of the Word of God, put pressure on the Word of God, and believe it. And I, I've been preaching this to you. I want, I want you to get this. Now, thanks be unto God, who always causes us to triumph. That means we're supposed to win. And he's talking about faith. We don't just barely get by. Man, we get by in abundance. Faith is not hard. It's just a little different. And you got to apply the right rules. You don't play basketball with football rules. There are rules that apply. Well, if you're going to live by faith, you need to know what the rules are. Remember this. Exceeding abundantly above all I could ask or think, and it happened a day after I prayed it, but God set it in motion months before because God's got me on his mind. Hey, I got to go remember today. Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.